Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. We'll start of the early morning off with a little snow, not too much. Just snow showers are coating in some areas. As far as any big storms or let alone big snowstorms, we don't see it, at least for this week. Take a look outside. Uh, depending on where you are, skies are varying between clear and uh, partly cloudy, looking good in Providence right now. Good visibility. We don't have any uh, snow showers nearby, so we want to keep things dry. It's been around 35, 37 degrees right now. Oakland Beach and Warwick checking in at 38 degrees with some extra clouds, but dry skies. And looking at Smithfield at uh, 35 on a north and northeasterly breeze at about uh, 12 miles per hour. We'll drop into the upper 20s during the overnight. And essentially, it's a dry week ahead. Really no big storms. The exception, and it's not that that's significant, but uh, from roughly New Bedford, especially towards the Cape and the islands, next 24 hours, including tomorrow, every now and then an occasional light rain or snow shower. Again, nothing too significant. Clouds linger on Tuesday, though. I do think at times we get some breaks of sunshine, and overall your Tuesday is quiet. As you can see, some of these rain and snow showers from roughly... Um, uh, Buzzards Bay, New Bedford, especially out towards the Cape and the Islands. And this will continue this evening and overnight. The further west you go, it's essentially dry and partly cloudy. It's all associated with a storm that it's offshore installed, and it'll be in this position in the next 24 hours. And what it's doing is it's throwing back some Atlantic moisture, so the heavier clouds, uh, especially out towards the Cape and the Islands, every now and then a, a passing rain or snow shower further west, in, including most of our area, it, it's dry and it'll stay that way. In fact, the eastern half of the country, really nothing organized as far as widespread precipitation or storminess. When we take this into the future, this ocean storm stays offshore, but it is close enough to throw back some clouds and a few rain and snow showers for the Cape and the islands only. Elsewhere, it is dry. Notice the further west, now this is 2 o'clock in the afternoon, the further west you go, more in the way of sunshine. The further east, especially southeastern mass, more in the way of cloud cover, but quiet. And then here we are around this time tomorrow evening, partly to mostly cloudy with temperatures in the 30s. So here's the breakdown, mostly cloudy tomorrow morning. Looking at temperatures starting off in the upper 20s by noontime 36, running about a 10% chance, if that, maybe a flurry, but basically it's a dry day. A lot of clouds tomorrow afternoon, but there'll be some uh, breaks of sunshine as well. We're looking at temperatures generally in the uh, mid to upper 30s. More in the way of sun. It's a brighter day. Real nice on Wednesday. 41 degrees this time of year is pretty good. Looking at upper 30s to low 40s. And that trend of dry weather continuing really through the weekend. Uh, somewhat of a close call on Saturday. A lot of our computer guidance still pointing towards an ocean storm. But it still looks like it's going to be too far offshore to be a real big problem here. We'll still keep an eye on it. But for now, we'll keep Saturday dry. If you want a snowstorm, this would be the one to have to come closer. But it should stay um, away, so we'll keep things dry, but still worth watching. Sunday, uh, sunshine, seasonably chilly. In fact, your temperatures for most of this week, your daytime highs are generally in the upper 30s to around 40, which is pretty much on target for this time of year. Uh, Mike and Shannon need overnight lows that'll be in the 20s. So we said this earlier, it's a stress free seven day forecast. I don't think we want a snowstorm. <laughs> just keep it stress free. <laughs> the kids do. <laughs> All right, thank you, Tony. Right. Coming up next in sports.